There is something terrible here. I can feel it. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Everybody, my name is Bear. We lost a few folks along the way in the last mission. I'm learning a bit though. I think I'm taking some extreme learning opportunities here. You know, it's like the X Games of knowledge. Renald, Resent, Vernon, and Bordell unfortunately all fell to our week two expedition, but we do still have two uh, leveled up characters and uh, two guys here as well. We have the stagecoach full of a few new heroes. Well, unfortunately not too many, but we very well may be interested in taking a couple of new guys. Especially ones that have absolutely no sense of uh, dread. <laughs> they, you know, the ignorant fools who have come here from the woodwork in order to try to establish themselves as the heroes we need, but not the ones we deserve. But hemophilia may not be the ones we look for, to be honest. Less bleed resist on this guy. Ruins phobe. Oh, that's his phobia is the ruins. Okay, that makes sense. And then... Night Blindness added on to uh, Mr. Curtis. Kurt Curtis? That's like a Utah spelling of Curtis right there. Quick reflexes as well. Okay, well, looking like Bachelier may be our best option, but Feroy could be good as well with uh, aut automatonophobia. <laughs> good lord. Uh, humans inflict more damage. Oh, he's so he's scared of his own race. All right, then I'll av avoid mirrors with him, I suppose. And then. Light below 25, he loses two speed. I imagine we won't let that happen with the amount of money that we still have on hand. Uh, although, second wind is pretty nice as well. He gains plus 10% damage if we let his health get below 50%. So I think I'm going to go ahead and roll with Feroy here and try to get a few new, few new heroes in the stagecoach next time. Uh, I can't really heal anybody up right now, but I can go to the guild, the new building that we found here. Make no mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. So what do we have going on in the guild? It looks like if we drag a hero in here from the roster, we might be able to upgrade some of their abilities. Let's check out Dismas real quick. A rogue, a thug, and a thief, the highwayman has honed his skills with Dirk and Flintlock to devastating effect. Hmm. Oh, let's see. So we can unlock new skills, it looks like, with these options, and then maybe we're able to... Uh, no, I think all we're trying to do here, actually, is unlock new skills. That's the point of the guild, it seems. I'm alright with that. Also, a use for our, uh, what are these called? The portraits. That's nice as well. Unfortunately, don't have nearly enough crests. Still need to try to find some of those in the in the uh, dungeons forthcoming. Also, the blacksmith may be worthwhile. The blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Hmm. Oh, we need prerequisites for this. So we need weaponsmithing and hero resolve. So we need weaponsmithing on one of our heroes, which I'm not really sure how to make the... Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can... Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Let's see. So we need weaponsmithing before we can do this. I'm guessing then... Oh, that is... Okay, that's exactly what that is. Okay, so we have to upgrade it within the blacksmith in order to be able to upgrade things. And the hero resolve, I suppose, is this? I think that's what that means. Let's see, if there's any Heroes Resolve area around here, I'm wondering if that's a quirk or if that's some co sort of bonus or something like that that we need to pay attention to. Not 100% sure about that. We do need to have a lot more stuff in order to actually be able to use the blacksmith, it looks like, though, so that's not going to be an option for the time being. But again, we don't really have the people to spare as far as allowing for some stress relief, so we're just going to have to take our party as is and uh, embark out into a brand new journey. So let's do it. Now, we've got a few options this time around. I'm probably going to want to look for something a little bit, uh, I'd say, on the weaker side. I'd say on the wussy side of things. I want to be able to win at least one of these. Well, I did win the first one, I suppose, but by the skin of my freaking teeth did that go down. Also looking for a reward of crests, and some gold would be awesome as well. Just, you know, always good to have an abundance of gold on hand. This one looks like it might not be a terrible idea. Beat back the creatures and bandits that endanger traffic on the old road. This is the area that we just unlocked, of course. But, you know, we may want to stick with the ruins for now, considering that is, you know, the, the first dungeon area. I suppose I'm more likely to have a an easier go of things in that area. This mass is sadly still pretty damn stressed, but you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this. So, we have Scout and we have Skirmish. I like my chances better with Scout, but Skirmish is also tempting. With this setup, I honestly feel like I might be uh, 
able to make some good of it. She's gonna be sitting in the back, it looks like, although Dismas might... No, he's not good in the back. He needs to be in the middle area, so we'll probably run things that way. I've noticed as well now, of course, uh, I wasn't really healing very much in our previous mission, so I'm gonna try to do that more frequently this time around. And, uh, on top of that, I really need to be paying a lot more attention to the variety of abilities we have. I think I kind of get tunnel vision a little bit on the ones that I find have been effective in the past, so I need to do a little bit better of a job of taking advantage of the various skills that my company has. So, we'll try to focus on those two big things as we provision up for round three. We're gonna stick with eight food to go. I think that's been doing us well so far. I'm gonna grab a shovel, and uh, I haven't really needed a skeleton key, but, you know, the odds are getting higher now that I'll probably need one, so we'll go ahead and throw that on. Or no, wait, now that I'm remembering, the first mission actually required a skeleton key, so that might be a risk risky proposition. But we've got the gold to spare at the moment, so I suppose this is good, as good of an opportunity as any to try to get that going. All this has to do is pay out worth 200 gold, and, uh, well, you know, obviously I have to either accomplish the quest or escape with my life in order to make that worthwhile, so I think I like my odds there. We don't have the Illuminate spell anymore, which means we're probably going to want to take a few extra torches, and then other than that, I believe we're good to go, so let's do it. Our third attempt inside the ruins. Once holy idols and shrines have been corrupted to favor pagan gods, holy water can help restore them. Oh, so that's why you want to bring holy water, okay. I pay attention to stuff like that as well. Here we go. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? So I'm already a fan of this. It's a pretty simple layout. We don't have to do any backtracking, meaning the torchlight should stay in our favor. I'm pretty sure I can just walk around in this room as well without any sort of hindrance to my radiant light. So let's go ahead and head out to the first room. And we start off with an alchemist brew. An alchemy table, partially intact set of experimental equipment. I'm wondering if maybe I want to try my hand at using, uh, well, let's see, the leper probably doesn't have any benefit associated with that. Let's have a quick look here. There might be a quirk that's, uh, you know, we can identify as relevant to the alchemy table, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this with Chargers and see what happens. Do not yield any fightings. Alright, no good. Fightings nor findings. Good God! Cruel that's a bummer. spring to life with a singular purpose. All right, well, oh, that's a good start. Okay, surprise attack. Stress is still high, of course. A grape shot blast is probably my best shot here. These guys, man, look at the health on this dude. I should probably try to target the Fusilier first. But, uh, oh yeah, he has, actually is going to get hit by this. Or taking, you know what? Taking aim might be a good option here. Because this gives me a much better chance, I think of hitting the Grape Shot Blast next turn, and that's some guaranteed damage, as well as an additional chance for Crit Strike. It's not too much, but kind of balances out the negative effect of the Crit modification from the Grape Shot Blast in general. So I'm going to go ahead and try taking aim. I haven't done this yet. We'll see how much of a benefit it provides for me. Look at that glisten. Oh, that's nice. We can see the buff here as well. I'm gonna do. I'm going to try to do a little bit better of a job at uh, describing the buffs and the debuffs and all the stuff that's going on as well for you guys if you're not too familiar with it, as, of course, we're all learning here all together. Now, the leper, I've been chopping a hell of a lot. Revenge is a self-buff, it looks like. Gives him a lot of damage. Less, much less accuracy, actually. That destroys his accuracy, but the critical strike chance is good as well. That's a self-heal, and then we've got Intimidate as a knockback attack, which does a little bit less damage. If we knock these guys, actually, yeah, if we knock this guy back, we could get this guy into striking range for Renald as well, so... Oh, sorry, not Renald. Renald's dead. <laughs> uh, what's his face over here? We could definitely uh, utilize that. Oh, we can only strike the first target here. Oh, that's right. This guy has some sort of blocking power. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm guessing just any sort of dude that appears to be a giant when compared to the other enemies more than likely is uh, going to be the one that stops you from attacking the ones in the back row. So it looks like we're going to have to get through this guy first. And that's not a bad start. No bleed, unfortunately, but we can make do with that. Uh, judgment may be a good call here. I could go for a Divine Grace right away on Savigny and try to get her back up to full health, considering we have the opportunity. But then again... Trying to take... Actually, you know what? Yeah, since we can target the guys in the back, this is probably the better option. There we go. That's a self-heal as well. Okay, yeah, obviously that's the best call. I don't know why I was thinking otherwise. Now, 
Oh, the Zealous Accusation actually is a chain effect. I didn't realize this for a little while, but Feroi has the Zealous Accusation, which targets multiple enemies. You can tell because the red dots down below are chained together as opposed to the individual shots such as the Stunning Blow. So let's try this one out. Oh, okay, it looks like he blocked that as well. Not a bad start. We got the Brigand about down to about half of his normal health. And we'll go ahead and throw another Judgment on the Fusilier. Nice damage there as well, and we're getting her back up to nearly full health. That's very good. Now we're going to try for the Grape Shot, and hopefully this will actually take this guy down before he's able to take us out. Let's go for it. No good. Oh, the dodges are too strong. No bleed, please. Oh, we got him. Okay, well, probably going to focus a little bit on the heals here. Oh, yeah, there's some good damage. Yikes! Oh, that's... Well, you know what? That's actually not too bad. I think we'll be okay here. God, and the blanket fire. Not that bad of damage. All right, I can deal with that. Should we try for another Zealous Accusation? I think we honestly might be better with either a Stunning Blow or a Smite. A Stun would be very helpful. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this guy this turn. So let's go ahead and do it. Stun him. Oh, no good. Lever with a bleed. Uh, I don't think he needs a self-heal just yet. We'll rely on our Vestal for that. Uh, chop might be my best option again. The Intimidate is still a viable option, actually. In fact, yeah, let's try this. That's good damage still. Knock him back. No good. Well, he's nearly gone. We should be able to take him out with maybe even a... Now you know what? I'm going to try to go for the kill. Ah, uh, of course. The RNGesus never fails to d disappoint me. Blanket fire going on again. So Vigny maybe has to start laying down some group heals at some point here. Good bleed resist. It's very helpful, I believe. Yet one more turn for the bleed is not too much. I think I can uh, go ahead and just try to survive that. I should be able to kill him with a chop. Yeah, that's minimum 9 damage. This is a guaranteed kill. As long as it hits, of course. Does not dissuade the, sharpened blade. the stunning blow I still think is a pretty good option, so let's go for that one. The cutthroat. Give it to me. Nice! Good stuff. I don't think he's actually had his turn yet, so this should be pretty damn effective. Open Vein's gonna take out the Fusilier, so let's do that. Very nice. Alright, so with this stun, I honestly kind of want to take some opportunities here to try to heal up and try to get ready for the next fight. So let's go ahead and start doing that right now. I'm going to heal up, uh, you know what, I might honestly do the group heal because that's probably going to be my best bet. These two have heals of their own, so I'll just take advantage of those as well. That's a good one. Okay, that's very nice. The bleed is gone. I'm just going to go ahead and do some solemnity and get him back up to nearly maximum health. I really hope I'm not mispronouncing that incredibly badly, but <laughs> whatever. Open Vein gives us a chance for bleed and probably some good damage as well. Give it to me, man. There we go, nice. He is afflicted poorly. The stun is gone, but we can try for the blow again. Although, we may be able to deal enough damage to kill him before he gets a chance to act next turn. He only has three speed, and I believe all of our guys are able to counteract that. But, then again, I could go for group heals again and try to get a little bit higher up. So let's do this one more time. Nice! Oh, that is so good. I'm starting to think this may be a good cheese mechanic. I'm thinking I might want to try to focus on getting a stun lock on the last guy in the fight and then trying to heal back up so I can be better prepared for the next battles. But, of course, that is a huge risk to take. There's a chance, of course, that he's just going to get free hits in, in on you if you just, you know, let him stay around for a little while. But, then again, I think that is a pretty small percentage chance on our part for that to happen. So I like this, I like this approach. And there's the kill. Not a bad start. Chirurgian's Charm. Plus one crit chance, but minus four accuracy. That honestly doesn't really sound like it's even worth it. Accuracy is a base stat. Yeah, that's pretty... That's a 4% decrease, I believe, if accuracy is a base stat, it's believed as an uh, estimate out of 100. Which I'm not sure that's the case, but I think it might be fair to assume. All right, let's go ahead and rearrange our order here, move up to the front. Feroy, Feroy, that's our new crusader. Hey, you know what? It might be better than nothing. Let's go ahead and throw this on. I guess it doesn't make too huge of a difference then. I wonder why the accuracy is showing zero. Doesn't look like it's that big of a difference. I I think I'm okay with this. All right, not a terrible start. We're doing okay in the first room of the new dungeon. Oh boy, okay. No surprise this time, unfortunately, and we've got ourselves an arbalist as well as the uh, the stress ball himself with the freaking tempting goblet of doom. Oh, and targeting Dismas already. That's no good. These guys looks like they're gonna have a lot of speed. They're gonna be attacking first and foremost the majority of the time. 
I honestly think I want to target them with the Judgment here, especially considering she needs some more healing as well. So let's try to take down the Courtier and try to avoid this stress for the future of the fight. And there's the dodge, of course. Wouldn't be a proper beginning to a battle without some BS RNG! I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a guaranteed kill on this guy, but I could take a chance on the Bone Soldier. I don't know if he's had an opportunity to attack yet. You know what, let's take out the Rabble. This is guaranteed, so let's do it. This automatically puts me at a numbers advantage. So, I feel like this is a pretty good option. Plus, that puts us in all three range for the Grape Shop Blast, so let's do that. Not bad, okay. That is acceptable. Now, for the Arblist, we're not even going to get close to a kill, but the uh, Smite with the Unholy Bonus... I still don't think it gets us quite there, and I'm not actually sure if the hero damage accounts for the bonus from the Unholy uh, Smite attack. It may or may not, but for now I think I'm better off trying to take out the Bone Soldier. Oh god, alright. Uh, you gotta count on some dodges, I guess. It's to be expected. Now, Savigny needs to concentrate a little bit more on healing right now. She's going ham on the heels, I think, for the remainder of these uh, next couple of fights. God, that stress. If Dismas goes 100 stress and freaks out again, I don't know if I like my odds for the future of this dungeon, man. I'm gonna keep pushing forward, though. Grape Shot's probably my best bet for him again. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Bayonet Jab, probably the best thing I could have expected. Chop or Solemnity? S S Solemnity. Solemnity. That sounds a little bit better. I keep toying around with this in my head. He's high enough. I think we can go for the damage here. Chop is a guaranteed kill on the Bone Soldier, and uh, a 50-50 chance, I guess, on the Arbalist, although I wouldn't like my odds there. I'm going to go for the Arbalist. Oh, my goodness. Come on, man. All right, the Smite's got a hit. Thank you. Give them no quarter. I intend not. Okay, that's... At least he's not t targeting Dismas with that. I'm okay with this. For all I can stand some stress here. The Chop may take down the Arbalist again. I'm going to have to get lucky. And I absolutely did not. I probably got the opposite of luck there. Some more Divine Grace. A party heal may not be the worst thing in the world. That would get our leper nearly up to full health again. Let's go for this. All right, well, that's... That's the worst thing that could have happened as a result of that move, so... Whatever. Uh, no bleed chance, unfortunately, so the open vein is probably not a good choice. But the pistol shot might be better. Crit modifier plus 10% is probably worth taking advantage of, and I might even... now. Nah, I'm not even going to come close to killing him, but still good damage. You know what? Yeah, this is my best bet. Let's do it. Nice! Five on that hit. Okay. Good dodge, good dodge for Roy. You're my man. Now counter with a kill! Oh, yes! Oh, that is so tasty! Knife in the dark. Oh, that's a bleed chance, if I think correctly. And I often don't. Party heal. Very good. Now this is another opportunity to try to take advantage of some heals, although the problem with that is the fact that these guys are stress attackers, meaning I'm taking a big, big gamble if I don't hit the stun. So honestly, I think I just want to take him down. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Another torch is very nice. We're picking up some extra gold along the way, and the onyx, of course, as soon as I get out of the dungeon here. He's going to provide me with a big bonus. Locked sarcophagus. Ornate. I wonder if the leper has anything to do with that. Let's check it out. It's trapped! Blight. Ooh, that's no good. No means by which to deal with that either, so it looks like we're just going to have to hope for the best. We do get to scout here, which is nice, and we scouted out a trap. Excellent for us. We have a sack, which usually provides some goodies. The sack's contents are yours. 300 gold. I'll take it. Now let's hope that we get uh, this trap disarmed. I feel like for Roy may be okay to do this. Let's check our quirks just in case I missed something here. There might even be the chance that some of these guys have a lesser ability to disarm traps, so I gotta be aware of that as well. Known cheat, the yips, early riser, fast healer, quick reflexes might be beneficial to this, actually. Uh, wield Explorer and a Clutter. Let's go ahead and use Dismas for this. No good. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. I just realized that was probably a pretty big uh, misplay there. Adding on his stress was not desirable. That's not good. Well, 
Hopefully we can make it out still. Probably want to use a couple of torches right now, actually. Let's get this back up. Let's get this back up to a radiant light. I really, really prefer that. That gives us a pretty damn significant boost to the likelihood of surprising the monsters, so... I am absolutely fine with that. And I should be able to scout out the next room as well. Doesn't look like it's going to let me, unfortunately, but... We're making good progress. I think we're in pretty good shape right now. Of course, we have to complete 100% of room battles in this excursion. Stashed heirlooms! Ooh, a portrait for free! Not bad at all. Hunger is setting in. We get some healing as a result of that. I'm totally fine with it. And we're about halfway through. It looks like this is... Oh, goodness. That stinks. Okay, we're going to have to spend at least one move getting through here. Switching Dismas and Froy. Uh, group heal may not be the worst option, but then again, uh, Dismas, I think, is in the worst shape. So let's go ahead and give him a self-heal. Now, Grape Shot's probably good. These guys don't have that much health. The Arbalists are going to be the biggest threat. In fact, this group really isn't that threatening, so I'm okay with this. Until that happens, and then it's a completely wasted turn. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. No stress, at least. Uh, I don't think any of these guys... Oh, Jesus. You know I'm just asking for it, aren't I? No stress, then a crit strike hits, and all is lost. God damn. Well, a chop is a guaranteed kill. I think I need to... Oh, I need to pay better attention to the ones that have already acted. I think it was this one. I might be wrong. I'm going to be real upset with myself if I am. Executed with impunity. God, I love it when he says that. So here's the retreat from combat, by the way. I, I failed to point this out, and I failed to notice it, I think, actually, on my previous mission. But that option is available uh, on the map if you're within battle. I need to switch with Dismas here, though, unfortunately, so there's not a lot I can do with Feroy. I'm really hoping for some dodge chances here. I need to heal on Dismas again. If his stress level goes skyrocketing, he's probably going to die. He's, he, honestly, he may not even allow me to heal him beyond that. Uh, this is another guaranteed kill. If it lands, I've got a pretty high chance to hit 65%. I could go for this as well, but uh, honestly, I'm better off stopping the damage guaranteed, so let's do it. I'm alright with that. A little bit of a buff there for our Leper as well. A little bit more damage on our Crusader, but the Smite attack should do some killing blows. Until it hits at the lowest possible amount, but at least he didn't dodge it. That's a bonus. Pistol shot, perhaps, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty good, but I can't tar target him, unfortunately. i uh, tell you what, this puts us in a position where we can easily clear out the remaining hostiles next turn, and then probably get some heals in in the process. So let's do this. Nice. A good shot. Okay. Now, one's definitely going to go first. Bayonet jab is certainly acceptable. Please no bleed. Thank you very much. I'm doing it again. They're really targeting for Roy here. I can definitely heal him as a target spot, or a target response, though. Pistol shot again, I suppose. Not terrible. Yes, I was hoping to get a heal chance before this went down. I very well could consider trying to stall a little bit. We can use, get some self-heals on our leper as well, but we could also do a... Uh, do a... Oh, wait, no. That's only... Wait a minute, what is that? Is that... Does he hit himself? Am I reading that right? That's a blue border. I think that's a buff. I think that means it's a buff. Okay, that's... That's gotta be what that indicates. Honestly, I think I better kill one of these guys before I uh, start trying to focus on recovering, so let's do that. Assuming, of course, that that blow hits. I need to be aware of that. Uh, okay. Oh, he can actually target others with this battle heal. That's good. But he needs to target himself. And that sucks. Alright, round four. I think we are in a pretty good position to try to get some more heals going on, so... I'm alright with stalling this out for a little bit longer. We could try to go for a blow from our highwayman that, you know, gets him down to the point where we're pretty much guaranteed the kill if we, uh, if we manage to hit him with anybody's attack. So let's do that. And we're gonna focus on doing our healing spells with the rest of our crew. I honestly really like this, uh, this layout. Or not this layout, this, uh... This group here, I think it's pretty damn strong. And I am okay with it. That's more like it for Roy, thank you much. Yeah, I think I think this group's gonna do pretty damn well. The amount of heals that we have available is very nice. I think our resistances are pretty darn good as well. Alright, get that health back up. He can just keep trading along with that man. In fact, he's doing less damage than the heal most of the time, so this is perfectly acceptable with me. Dismiss getting back up to a pretty good standing here, and he's able to... Uh, 
pretty much, uh, well, you know, this is a chance to kill, so I might, want, I might not want to do it at the moment. I can take aim, that's, uh... You know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stall this out for a little bit longer. I wanna try to get a bit more healing going on. Try to get for Roy above at least, you know, 25 health or so before I take off from this fight. Divine Grace again, I... You know what, let's get Dismas to nearly full health. I think that's probably my best bet. Oh, he's targeting for Roy now. That's not the worst thing in the world. Battle heal again. Okay, well, I think one more round with a Divine Grace from our Vestal, and then uh, we'll have Chartres the Leper at near full strength as well, and then we should be able to get a guaranteed kill. I am okay with this. This is going pretty damn well, actually. Divine Grace. And we'll try for a battle heal if we get the chance, although I may just go for the kill, to be honest. Nice, good dodge. Okay, that's very, very helpful for us. And, uh... No, I think I want to take an opportunity for a couple more heals here. It's too good to pass up, man. Sometimes you just gotta cheese it super hard. But, uh, oh, man, you know what? Yeah, full health. That's pretty damn useful. And then one more battle heal, and then we'll go for the kill. I like that option. I'm, I'm imagining she's gonna be able to go before anyone else. Ooh, the bayonet jab does do a little bit of damage. A group heal might not be my worst option, but we get the chop beforehand, so let's just go ahead and finish this off. Oh, well, okay, he's making the decision for me. I'm okay with that. Another battle heal certainly gives me an advantage that I can press, according to our established caretaker. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Divine Grace again, or we can do Divine Comfort. That's probably a good call, too. Oh, excellent. All right, yeah, now we're in great shape. Let's finish him off. God, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did I miss my opportunity? He's just increasing his dodge chance as we go through this battle. Oh my god, here we go. That's more like it. This expedition at least promises success. We got a couple of food out of that one. I am totally happy with that. The dim light can be rectified by the extra torches we picked up along the way as well. Not a terrible room, I'm pretty satisfied actually. As long as we can avoid getting three more stress on Dismas, which is pretty damn unlikely, but I'm still hoping for it. I think I, uh, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's move to this room. Another loot bag, let's see what's inside. Nice! 25 gold, well, take what we can get, I guess. The Iron Maiden. Do I dare? His stress isn't that high, I'm gonna take a gamble. Nice! Hey, oh my god, wow, that's amazing! 800 gold, okay. I am happy about that. Oh, thank God that three stress wasn't on Dismas. Oh, I am just running that risk. The further we get into here, man, this is just starting to freak me out. Let's use one more torch, get back up to the radiant light. Does that give us a scout? I'm not really sure what the scouting is procced by, to be honest. I think it might be a little bit of RNG. If anybody knows what triggers the scouting, let me know, because I'd very much like to know what that is. We're doing really well here. We might only have even a couple more fights to deal with. The confession booth. Hasn't been used in years. The hero's absolved of a sin. Very good. Ooh. Mercurial purged. He lost his negative quirk. That's amazing. So I guess the uh, confession booth then give you an opportunity to try to get rid of a negative quirk on a random chance. That's pretty damn useful. I like that a lot. Pack has already been looted. I'm expecting a fight in the last quarter here. Let's collect ourselves. We want to wait for it. We're in great shape. This is actually, this is by far the best condition I've been in since I've started this, so... No need to wait here. Okay, this is going to be a slightly tougher fight. And the Tempting Goblet is going to be a very, very dangerous element. I honestly think I need to target the Cordier above everything else right now. So every single attack goes toward him. And we might even be able to kill him with a pistol shot if I can aim that far back. But this guy may be what stops us. That was weird. What was that attack? Ren for the old god. See, that's what I'm used to with the bleed chance as well. There it is. We might want to take an opportunity to bandage there, honestly. That might be helpful for us. Ooh, they actually switch positions here. Interesting. We might want to take advantage of that. But the chop could uh, kill this guy. In fact, it's got a pretty strong chance of doing so. Do I want to put this guy back in the front, though? I honestly might not. In fact, what if I intimidate and try to get him in the back line? Then he wouldn't be able to do anything helpful. Let's do that. Oh, that's some good damage as well. Oh, yes! That is exceptionally helpful. Okay, now a Grape Shot Blast can do a lot more damage here if we can get the chance on it. But the Open Vein might be a good shot too because these guys do bleed. We've got a couple of humans here. The Acolyte might be my target here. Let's try it. Bleed, please. Oh, no good. Okay, well, that's still a pretty strong hit, so... No mind that. 
He passed his turn as well. Wow, the Intimidate did a lot of good for me right there. Now, the Smite would be awesome if I could target the Defender, but unfortunately that's not an option. I've got a chance to kill the Acolyte here with it. But I could also do a Zealous Accusation. That's not a terrible thought. Let's try that. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, very good. So I think I have to target the second character in the line to actually hit both of them with a the Zealous Accusation. That might be the case. Eldrick push. Ooh, nice dodge. Very good. We got a couple of bleeds going on. The Judgment's probably still my best bet. If I can get a similar hit to the last one, we're in great shape. Nice! Oh my god, that's so good. Lowers the stress on Dismas. That is amazing. We are getting some good results from this fight now. I am very pleased with this. Let's go for a chop and get the kill on the Brawler. Hell yeah! Oh my god, we are in great shape. Axe Blade's no problem. We can focus on some heals before we take off here as well. I'm not going to worry about the bleed. I think we're in good enough shape to not have to deal with that. And the Zealous Accusation takes him down. The debuff going down. Minus 10 accuracy with whatever the hell we did to do that. The bleed's not going to help us. This is an unholy enemy, though, so we might have to focus on that. Although Open Vade's probably still my best shot, so let's do it. Still good damage. I'm okay with that. Okay, we have an opportunity to try to focus on healing here. I kind of expected that to dodge. Although, we could kill him before he gets an opportunity to strike again. Honestly, I feel like I'm in good enough shape to try to heal back up, so let's do it. Solemnity on myself. Probably a Divine Grace on Faroy if I get an opportunity. Dead weight. Oh, he's going to knock him back, isn't he? Okay, well, that's not terrible. We can still easily kill him with our Leper here, so that's fine. Judgment's not really uh, necessary at the moment. She's actually been healing herself with that as well, so that's amazing. Party heal, probably not the greatest bet. Let's go with healing on Faroy. Individuals. He can actually battle heal himself back here as well, so that's not the worst thing. Oh, we got stunned from that too. My god. Alright, got another Divine Grace hit. I'm probably going to get three characters before his move. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess... Well, I don't think we have... We have a very small chance to kill with this. But he dodged. Alright, no big deal. I think I'm going to go for the chop. Let's end it. Nice. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I thought it was pretty good. Pardon me, sir. An uncommon fortunate armlet. Leper only. Well, that's pretty convenient, considering my layout. Grabbed a ruby with a thousand gold value, my god, as well as a holy water. Nice. Couple of busts from that as well. That was a great fight. Oh, we've completed the quest! Oh my god. That was so good. It's trapped! Oh god. We got the blight. Well, not a big deal there. Alright, man. Amulet for the leper. Accuracy, crit, strike, but uh, lowers his damage. Huh, what's the difference there? That's a full two points on his max. Oh, that, I don't know. Do I want to keep that? Eh, probably. I think we'll be okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We I think I'm in... only the strength to follow it. My bad. I think I'm in good enough condition to finish out this dungeon, man. Let's do it. I've got confidence now. Let's hit this thing. Hopefully we don't have... Well, we don't have any more... I thought we didn't have any more fights. Apparently we do. Okay. Oh, it says room fights. That's what it is. Okay, I was I was confused. I understand it now. Grape Shot Blast. Good start. Go Dismas. Okay. I forgot whether that Blight to deal with, but we should be able to kill these guys. Actually, yeah, this is an easy fight. We got this. Assuming I can hit stuff. There we go. Counter the dodge. Okay. Uh, Divine Grace, probably not necessary. Let's go for a Judgment Self-Heal under the Vestal. We'd be good to go. Very nice. Heal up for two. And then for Roy, let's go with the Zealous Accusation, actually. Nice! Good stuff. One hit point there, and then we should get a pretty quick kill in the Bayonet Arbalist, so we're good to go. This is totally fine by me. Oh, and the crit! Oh my god, that's convenient! Lowering the stress before we leave the dungeon. Hell yes, Vestal. I am totally fine with this. Now I'm going to go ahead and heal up a little bit more, actually. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter. We got it. Took him down. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Got some anti-venom from that and another sack. Sack's contents are yours. A little bit of stress, but we're okay with him for now. He's down to 89, so I think we're okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have Feroy take care of this one. He f Ooh, and Hale's Foul Vapor is probably a little bit of... Oh, we got Lockjaw. That sucks. 
Wow, that's super bad. You know, like the, the movie. Oh, that is really awful. Okay. Well, unfortunate. But we cleared the entire dungeon now. So that was great! Let's get the hell out of here. More bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. That was so much better than what we did last time. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get some good quirks here now. Roy, oh, he's faithless. Will not once. Oh no, wait. He's not the guy that had to only pray to be able to do his uh, stress relief. Okay, so that's not so terrible. Let's hope for the better here. Necromania, fascinated with corpses, and he's deadly. Gives him an additional percent to strike critically. Fear of Eldritch. He has to be concerned with that. But the clutch hitter. Pretty damn good percentage chance with a crit below 50% health. And then for Saga Vigny. Another automatophobia and robust 15% disease resist. Pretty good. I am very happy with the result of that. I think I've got a pretty damn well-rounded party Our here as well. My name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Managed to unlock the Warrens and the Sanitarium. Leveled up the Chartres and Peroi characters. We're doing pretty damn good here. I am very happy with that. Grab some gold from that as well. Dismas definitely needs to do some relieving of his stress here. Now, what what did we find worked pretty well for him? I think the uh, I think the power of the drink did fairly well for our uh, hard noggin friend. So let's take him into the tavern. Provide some stress relief for Dismas. Bring me something that will burn my throat. Now we're probably gonna have to grab somebody else from the stagecoach here, assuming that Dismas is not gonna come back for the next uh, opportunity. And a hellion might be a good replacement, actually. Ah, then again, maybe not. Because that's the first two options. But I think we're going to grab her all the same. Because this is going to be great. Hellions are amazing, man. Hellions oh, provide you some pretty good strength. Savagery make for a powerful ally. Yeah, yeah, what he said. <laughs> the breakthrough attack is quite incredible as well. The adrenaline rush can be helpful too. So we might end up taking her for a couple of rounds. Let's see what the occultist provides for me. What two is... Uh, oh, this is a Vestal. God, I keep getting that weird glitch. I wonder if I can just, like, scroll up somehow, or maybe we can... You know what, I'm gonna take him anyway, I want an occultist. To fight the abyss, one must know it. So this is a good position replacement for the Highwayman, so that's pretty nice. Sacrificial stab. Weird... Wired... Word? Re reconstruction? Target bleeds one point for a round for ten rounds and heals zero to ten, wow! Oh, but... The, oh, I see, okay, so that's a pretty... That's a pretty risky maneuver there. Hands from the Abyss, a ranged attack from the first two, and then the last two were targeted by Demon's Pull. Interesting. Yeah, I'm totally cool with the occultist here. Watch out. Hatred of Beast, robust. Sitiomania, obsessed with food. Which probably means he eats a lot more than the regular guy. Then uh, another case of automatonophobia. Alright, looking pretty good here. I am excited about this. More opportunities for success here in the future. We've also unlocked the uh, Sanitarium. Apparently he has nothing to say about that. Okay. Treat... Oh, we treat mental and physical illness here. Nice. It's pretty convenient. Probably don't want to consider upgrading too much at the moment, but we're looking a lot stronger than last time. Appreciate you guys watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. Appreciate that a lot. It does help greatly in supporting what I do here. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.